Okay, so uh, good morning everyone. My name is Anaga, as Matt said. Um, I'm 15 years old and I study at Indus International School. And my project is about elephants. Today I want to delve into a topic that's often ignored, the proverbial elephant in the room. Now what is the elephant in the room? The elephant in the room can be defined as a major problem or controversial issue that isn't usually addressed by people. But now I want to address this issue, and the issue is the challenges that elephants face and the impact that human lives can have on them. Elephants are not just animals, they're a keystone species and they're crucial for maintaining ecological balance. Beyond their environmental significance, elephants hold environmental significance and cultural importance in, in India. Today, we'll understand why their well-being is, uh, is a concern that deserves our attention. The numbers are alarming with only 20 to 25,000 elephants left in the wild. We need to understand the, th the threats they face, which include habitat loss, poaching, and human-wildlife conflict. These factors paint a grim picture for the future of these magnificent beings. My project started with the aim to shed light on the stark reality of elephant training and um, showing the contrast between the lives of elephants in the wild and elephants in captivity. Uh, I started my project with doing a little bit of background research and understanding more about elephants and why they're really important. Then I um, went to Kaziranga National Park to photograph elephants in the wild. Then I went to um, a place in Kerala to photograph elephants in captivity and the training that they go through. And lastly, I visited the Wildlife SOS Rescue Centers at, um, at Agra and Mathura to understand how these elephants are rescued and rehabilitated. Phase one was about showcasing the beauty of elephants in the wild. I explored their natural behaviors, their happiness within their herd, and the importance of family bonds in their lives. If this is a glimpse into the untamed, free-spirited, and um, free spirited existence of these incredible creatures. Phase two was more to capture the harsh reality of their captivity and training that they undergo. And I explored the cultural ties that elephants have in India and how important they are. Now, I noticed something very interesting over here, which was that the Mahots were very aware of the fact that they were torturing the elephants and hurting them but they said that they have no choice but to do it until the elephants obey. In phase three of the project, I saw the transformation that these elephants went through. They finally got, um, they finally found some peace after years of torture and years of captivity. They were finally able to relax a bit and they were able to finally get good health, like have a good, better health again. The, uh, the caretaker said, and I quote, the elephants that come to us are so damaged, we focus on helping them live the rest of their life in peace. Their only job is to help these elephants find a better, like find better health again, and to make sure they get better. Thank you for joining me on this journey, in case anyone has been.